This week in class, we were studying the chapter on ARP, the Address Resolution Protocol, to learn how devices can learn about each other's MAC addresses and discover each other on an Ethernet network. Also covered in the chapter, though, was how neighbors discover each other on a network that uses IPv6 addressing. So in this network right here in Packet Tracer, I've built a network where you've got two devices and you have a router, but it's going to use IPv6 addressing instead of IPv4. So to discover devices on an IPv6 network, we use the Neighbor Discovery Protocol and ICMP version 6. And there's five different types of messages in the Neighbor Discovery Protocol using ICMP version 6. So once again, we don't use ARP if it's an IPv6 network. Now those messages are a router solicitation message, type 133, a router advertisement, type 134. So a device on the network like PCA or PCB can solicit information from a router, and then the router can respond with a router advertisement, and they can discover routers that way on the network. Also, there's a neighbor solicitation message where a neighbor can solicit information from another neighbor, and then a neighbor advertisement for responding back. There's also a redirect message for a router to redirect hosts to a better route. But let's take a look at this in action so we can understand a little bit more about this neighbor discovery protocol using ICMP version 6 instead of ARP. So what I've done is I've taken a router and in this router basically this is all I've done. I'm going to do it again right here so you can see it. So I set the host name to R1, and then I went into gigabit 0 slash 0 slash 0, and I gave it some IPv6 addressing. So I gave it an IPv6 address, and I gave it a global unicast address like this. And I made it like this. And slash 64. So this gives it a global unicast routable address, the router. And then also I gave it a link local address. And a link local address starts with FE80, and I'm just gonna make it FE80 colon colon one since it's R1. And also you'll notice I gave the global unicast address the interface ID one, just for simplicity. So now the router has these two addresses, a routable address, routable on the internet and routable on the network, and then a link local address which is not routable. I need to put a no shut command. The link local address is only for the local link, meaning only for the local network. Now in IPv4, we don't have to have link local addresses, but the equivalent in an IPv4 network would be in a PIPA address, a 169254 address, which is also link local, only um, routable on the local link. Basically not routable, it's just for the local network. However, in IPv4, we're not required to have a 169254 address, but in IPv6, every device has to have a link local address for communicating just on the local link, and then it's optional whether or not they have a routable address, a global unicast address. So anyway, the router now has this. So let's see what happens if I go to simulation mode here, and I've I filtered the protocols just for the neighbor discovery protocol in IPv6. So that's it. That's the only thing that's visible. And then what I'm going to do is I'll go to PCA here. I'll go to IP configuration and change the IPv6 configuration to automatic. Now, as soon as I do that, notice we can see this neighbor discovery protocol packet being generated right here. Now, this is a router solicitation message, but let's watch it. I'll hit the forward button. And there goes the message. And we'll open up and look at the inbound PDU details. We can see the, the Ethernet information here. And then the IPv6 information, notice this is the source link local address of PCA. So PCA has an IPv6 link local address identifying itself on the local link. The destination IPv6 address is a multicast all routers multicast address. So this is being multicasted or basically broadcasted out for all routers to try to get a router to respond. And then here is the router solicitation message. 
and you can see in the router solicitation message it says type 0x85 and this is hex 85 and if we convert the hex to decimal you can see here that hex characters 85 there's an 8 in binary there's a 5 in binary if I put those together in binary that's a 128 plus a, a 4 plus a 1 128 plus 5 is a 133 so this is a type 133 router solicitation message so we'll see what happens here so the router solicitation message goes out and it hits the PC and the PC doesn't want it and this is weird also the router doesn't want it you can see they're like the PC I understand says this isn't for me I'm not a router however the router has said I don't want it either now that's a little bit weird the router should accept this router solicitation message and respond with a router advertisement however it's not because we didn't configure IPv6 or enable IPv6 routing on the router so what I'll do is is I'll reset this simulation I'll go back to real-time mode here and I will go into the router and let's turn on and enable IPv6 routing so to do that we'll go to global config mode and we'll put in the command IPv6 unicast dash routing and now the router should have um, routing enabled on it now for good measure I'll do a control C and I'll save my configuration and this should work now now we'll see if it does so we'll go back to simulation mode go back to PCA and what I'll do is, is I'll go back to static here and then now I'm going to do this again so what I'll do is is I'll go back to automatic because it's going to try to automatically auto configure itself now in IPv6 a PC can configure its own IPv6 address the prefix and the gateway by getting this information from the router and you can see there's its link local address already it already has a link local address but we'll see what happens as soon as I click automatic here and then we hit forward there goes the neighbor discovery protocol the router solicitation message it goes to the PC and the router this time the router you can see the check mark it's happy about it it says great and it responds now let's look at the response the response is a router advertisement message we'll look at the inbound PDU details we'll scroll down notice that it's from the source IPv6 address FE80 colon colon one it's going out it's an it, it's going out to FF02 colon colon one so it's advertising this is a router advertisement but it's advertising its router information and what is it advertising in this router advertisement well you can see here first of all it's a type x86 and in this case it's a, a type 134 message and you can see that it's advertising its let's see here it's advertising down here it's advertising the network prefix 2001 db8 acad1 it's advertising the prefix length which is 64 and it's also basically advertising the fact that its its address its link local address is fe80 colon colon one so it's doing all those things now when the when the frame gets back to PCA notice this advertisement PCA requested it now PCA if we look we can see that PCA was able to auto configure its own IPv6 address based on the network prefix 2001 db8 acad1 it also was able to fill in the network prefix length 64 bits and the default gateway information so it was able to basically configure itself and so that's the router solicitation and router advertisement at work here in this packet tracer network now to generate a neighbor solicitation and neighbor advertisement what I've done is I've gone into the router and I've actually turned off IPv6 unicast routing and I did that to try to um, so that we don't see the packets going across the network so I went in and I did a no IPv6 unicast routing so now the router won't be sending out neighbor discovery 
or router uh, advertisements. So we just want to focus on the two PCs here. So what I'll do is I'll go to Edit Filters, I'll turn on ICMP version 6, and I'm hoping to generate a neighbor discovery, uh, a neighbor solicitation, and neighbor advertisement between these two PCs. Now I'm not sure it's going to work in Packet Tracer, but it's worth a try. So we're in simulation mode, and I've statically configured PCA here with 2001 DB8, a CAD1 colon colon A. So it has a um, IPv6 address that's been statically configured as just interface ID A since it's PCA and a 64-bit prefix and the gateway, it knows where the gateway is. So we've got that. And then PCB, I did the same. I statically configured the address 2001 DB8, a CAD1 colon colon B and also has a 64 prefix and the default gateway knows where the default gateway is. So hopefully these will work. Um, that's my plan anyway, uh, let's see if it works. So I'm in simulation mode, I'll go to the command prompt here and I'll say ping 2001 colon db8 All right, so I do that, and I'm I'm setting up this ping, and I've launched a ping to 2001 DB8, a CAD1 colon colon B, and sure enough, look what's happening here. We want to send a ping from host A to host B, but there's the neighbor discovery protocol. It looks like that's going to be a neighbor solicitation message. Cool. So it wasn't working a second ago, but now it's working. That's great. So we'll open that up. We'll look at the inbound PDU details and let's take a look at it. So there's the source IPv6 address. Notice the destination IPv6 address, FF02 colon colon one FF00B. So this is a neighbor solicitation message similar to ARP in IPv6. It's checking for host availability source address was my link local address and the destination address is an all solicited nodes multicast type 135 so let's look back at the packet tracer and we can see here all solicited nodes multicast and if we go down here you can see here um, neighbor message looks like here it's listed as a type 87 uh, type 87 here in packet tracer Type 87 would be, let's see here, type 87 right here, which is the hex 87, is type 135 in decimal. So that is a route neighbor solicitation message. So that's excellent. So let's just play that through here. We'll have it go through. And it reaches a PCB here. Notice the router got it also, but does not respond because it's not for the router. And then the response here, and we'll take a look at this response, inbound PDU details, and we can see here it's showing the source IPv6 address, the destination IPv6 address, and the neighbor message, so this is the neighbor advertisement, type 88, and then the uh, the target address and the link layer address. There is the MAC address. So the MAC address of PCB. So you can see here that it's responding with its MAC address. And so PCA is going to learn about the MAC address of PCB through the neighbor discovery protocol, through the neighbor solicitation, neighbor advertisement messages. And if we look at PCA now, I'm not sure it'll show it in this simulator, but it's worth trying. I'm not counting on it, but um, we can take this and go back to real-time mode. And then PCA, there's the replies for the ping for the IPv6 address. Now, if we want to see the MAC addresses that were learned through the neighbor discovery protocol and the neighbor solicitation and neighbor advertisements, we don't look in the ARP cache because ARP wasn't used to learn about the MAC addresses or to discover the neighbors. 
So you can use a different command. And the commands that you would use in Windows, you would use a net sh command, interface IPv6 show neighbors. And in Linux, you would use an IP-6 nay command, or neighbor command. And in Mac OS or Unix, NDP-A. So I'm not sure that this is gonna work in the simulator, but we could give it a try. So we could say net sh interface IPv6 show neighbors. And this would be the command that we would use to see our neighbors, and there it is. Net sh interface IPv6 show neighbors, and you can see there's 2001 DB8 ACAD 1B, and there's the MAC address associated with this neighbor in IPv6. So we have to use the neighbor discovery protocol in order to see those IPv6 to MAC address mappings. Okay, well I hope you like this demonstration and a little demo of the neighbor discovery protocol ICMP version 6, learning about neighbors on the network using IPv6.